nobody home. Well, except for my son, who's usually in his room. Not only is it quarantine, uh, but this weekend I'm not, I don't have Liz or Sophia. They've both gone to the desert this weekend to visit her father. He lives. He has a home up there in the desert. He's been up there for a few months now all by himself. And so they thought they would go visit him since we've both been in lockdown for a couple months now. Pretty safe, I think. Um, so Liz and Sophia are up there visiting Grandpa, leaving me home alone with the boy and uh, the pets. <laughs> We've <laughs> been an adventure this weekend already. So I thought I would turn the camera on and, and spend the weekend with you guys. And I don't know what we're going to do today. Who knows? I mean, what do we do during quarantine? I have no idea. I work. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I've been working a lot. Which, by the way, one of the reasons why I've been able to turn this camera on for the first time in a while for Royal Dorks is because I did finally finish, ish, um, the uh, Choose Your Adventure project over on Fresh Baked. Do check that out. So now I've got a little bit, a little bit of time on my hands. I've got more stuff to edit, more stuff to work on, but uh, I've got a minute here to turn the camera on and talk to you guys. So let's hang out. We'll have a little bachelor weekend, you and me, at uh, Casa de Fresh Baked, I guess. We had a very kind muffin make us some new masks that I'm going to be trying out today because I'm going to do a target run. I think I'm going to have to go with the black one. <laughs> I'll let Liz wear the bats and the kitties. This one will be mine. She literally never shuts up. This one. Watch. Watch. Just... And then she goes in the bathroom. What is this thing that you're doing all the time? Why? Yeah. Coco, you never have anything to say. You just sit there like a good dog all the time, don't you? But this one. See? All day. And there she goes. What about this other one? What about you? You got anything to say? What? You just, you seed stealer. I'm talking to Sandy. Sandy, what do you got to say? <laughs> it's a menagerie of pets. There she goes. She went out the door. <laughs> okay, Sandy, are you confused by your new bowls? We got the cats some new bowls yesterday because this one is a little puker. She pukes. So uh, we've tried everything. We've tried changing her diet. We've tried medicine, but she pukes almost well, it's always after she's eaten, and usually in the morning after she's eaten. So we decided to try out these bowls, which are supposed to be anti-puke bowls. They're tilted up a little bit, uh, uh, front to back, which changes the angle at which she eats. Plus, there's little interrupters because she eats too fast. We, we think that's what it is, is that she eats too fast. So these little notches in there slow her down. Let's find out. What we're going to do, this might be the first time she's eaten. Uh, after we go shopping, we'll come back and look for puke. <laughs> and won't that be fun? Nothing like looking for puke to really make your bachelor weekend feel like a bachelor weekend. This is not going to feel anything like a bachelor weekend. All right, guys. Well, we are in the car, on the road, ready to go make a Target run. I'm pumped. Going to Target is literally the closest thing that I have to a vacation. That's my getaway. I love going shopping. Not because I like to shop, but just because 
it's the one thing, it's like a little break, it's a little pause. I work so much, so often, every day, work, 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 that any sort of distraction for me is, is a vacation. Uh, my, I take little mini breaks on my phone by playing solitaire. That is, <laughs> playing solitaire for like five minutes in between whatever it is that I'm doing at work, be that work, work, or, or you know, fresh baked with Doric's or whatever, um, those are my like moments of, of um, respite, I guess. It's just a little diversion for me. So I, I just, I enjoy going to Target. I, well, any kind of shopping, really. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, but having said that, it hasn't been the same for me lately, obviously, because of all the things that have been going on. It's a little bit more like a mission. Like when you go to Target, when you go to the grocery store, you're on a mission. You've got a list and you've got, a, you can't just casually go to the store anymore. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you can't just browse. You feel casual anymore. Maybe that's just me. That's just how I feel about things. But uh, on the road to Target, and then I guess after that it's lunchtime, and I'm gonna hang out with the cats and she's I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Almost every time when I come to Target, I like to play a game of what's the weird stuff that's totally selling out. If I sound funny, I'm wearing a mask today. It's bikes. There are no bikes. You can't buy a bike at Target. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I want a bike now. I mean, I did before, but now I want one even more. It used to be that Target stopped selling videos, DVDs, Blu-rays. Like, people didn't buy them here anymore, but look at this. People are buying Blu-rays. I guess they're still not reading though. This is encouraging. <laughs> you can't buy a barbell. Barbells are gone, bikes are gone, barbells are gone. People are exercising. Fantastic. They're not drinking their water though. Drink your water. You have to hydrate when you're exercising. It's not just about lifting the 12 pound neoprene ball. I guess this is just a little too weird for everybody. The workout board with a twist. It, I don't understand either. This is the paper towel aisle. It's about how it usually looks. But what happened here? <laughs> I guess people aren't down with the bounty essentials. Only as a last resort. Just what is the logic here? I swear I don't understand. Is, <laughs> I, they must have got a shipment, I don't know. Or, people really love Cheerios, but not those dirty, rotten, multi-grain Cheerios. Keyboard solo! This one's for you, baby. Well, target run is done. I still just noon, so <laughs> I guess we'll have some lunch. I think I'm gonna make uh, one of my favorite lunches that I've been making since I was a young lad and on my own. I was, uh, how do I put this? I don't know what the correct term is, like a latchkey kid? I was a latchkey kid growing up. Uh, my mom worked and my dad was gone. Uh, so I was, you know, uh, we were home alone a lot, my brother and I, and we would have to feed ourselves. We learned how to make many things, and that including grilled cheese sandwiches. Now my, uh, my palate has evolved over the years <laughs> when it comes to making grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, I like to make mine on uh, sourdough bread with different kinds of cheese, a little munch meat, and uh, who knows what else. So come with me to the kitchen and we'll make David's famous grilled cheese sandwich. Well, I'm not sure how famous it is. It's famous to me.
Okay, it's not very famous at all. It's the opposite of famous. Nobody knows about this. And there's the finished product. Grilled cheese with ham, Swiss, provolone, and cheddar. Some fiery pickles, macaroni salad, Anderson split pea soup. Really, there's only, that's the only kind you should get. And a glass of root beer. I've got that and an action list for Choose Your Adventure of about 34 items of things that I'm gonna try to knock out. I'm gonna eat my lunch, work on that list, and then we'll check back in later. <laughs> uh, that should be the thumbnail, huh? Mm. I don't know what it is about a grilled cheese sandwich on sourdough versus just any other kind of bread, but that's where it's at. Oh, it, you know, it's something about the, the, maybe it's the meat to bun ratio or the cheese to bun ratio. Mm, that's good. Pickle. Mmm. Mmm. Not your average pickle. All right. Cheers, guys. Well. That really hit the spot. A grilled cheese sandwich with some Anderson split pea soup. It's the only kind of split pea you should get. We've been, I've been to now three different Andersons. Is it three, maybe, maybe just two. Uh, there was one in San Diego. I've been to that one. And obviously we went to the one in Buellton, but I, I want to say there's a third one somewhere that I've been to, but I can't say for sure. But uh, while I was having lunch, I, I was noticing again how empty the house was. I mean, it is a bachelor day, but it's kind of sad. Like look at, there's my little sad little bachelor side of the bed being slept in, but you can tell obviously <laughs> My baby wasn't here last night to spend the night with me. Oh That makes me a little you know, I find myself As I walk throughout the house when I, I'll go upstairs and I'll work for a bit and I'll come back downstairs and I'll be expecting to find Liz and Sophia out here like playing. They're usually out here playing on the carpet or I'll look for, you know, I'll come see if Sophia's awake. You know, I'll, I'll check the crib to see, to see if she's still taking a nap maybe. And then I'll get sad because she's not in there. Um, but it's, I mean, I used to really enjoy these, but I, I miss 
having the full house, especially now that the house is bigger than it used to be. Well, I guess it's time to get back to work. I'm gonna nuke this coffee as I like to do. I'll drink the same cup of coffee all day. I'll drink it all day. Because I can't drink cold coffee. I, it has to be hot. So I'll take a few sips and then I'll forget about it. <laughs> and I'll do, go about my work. An hour later, the coffee's cold, so I gotta nuke it again. And it winds up losing its flavor. Obviously, it gets overcooked eventually, but that's just the way I do it. I, I, I wish I could have fresh coffee all day, but who can? Many hours of video were produced based on this. A cup of coffee and an editing bay. Let's get back to work. Oh, hey, you caught me in the car again. <clears throat> we went from work, I got some work done. Uh, not as much as I had hoped, because I got, <laughs> I started watching Walking Dead. I've been watching Walking Dead again. Uh, I started over. Because uh, we, I, I haven't watched the last maybe season and a half. Whoa, okay. And I wanted to uh, catch up, but I don't. I couldn't just jump into season nine. So I, I started over because I want to feel those feelings again. Anyway, I got into Walking Dead and I realized, oh my gosh, it is a quarter to seven, and I haven't had dinner yet. So it's uh, my it's a bachelor's evening. And I feel like I should do something that I don't get to do often. You know, when when Liz is home, right? That's what I should do, right? Do something that I can't do when Liz is home because, you know, I want to try to make her happy too. And because she does, she has a you know a different, uh, what do you call it, diet than I do. I eat whatever, and she doesn't. <laughs> So I'm thinking, I don't know what I, do I want to do something crazy? I have been very disappointed with fast food lately. I don't feel like they're trying very hard. Uh, but like I said, it's an opportunity, like chili dogs at Wienerschnitzel. Let's drive around and see what's available here in Old Town Tustin. I'm gonna switch over. All right, and the sun is, this is a beautiful evening, by the way. It's a good 85 degrees out. Uh, sun is setting. It's going to be right in your eyes here in a second. My apologies. Hopefully that doesn't blind you all. McDonald's. I'm, that's a straight pass for me. I am over McDonald's. Uh, let's see. Oh, on or your left. On your left is Der Wiener Schnitzel. I was just talking about chili dogs. On your left is Der Wiener Schnitzel. That's, that's in the running. You can't see it because the camera's pointing straight ahead. Well, I've made my way to downtown Santa Ana, not because I expect to find anything here, but just because I wanted to drive through here and see how it feels, see what it looks like. Ooh, Jack in the Box. I do love me some Jack in the Box. I used to work there. You know, as we approach, we're in Old Town Orange now, and we're approaching the Orange Circle. And there are some decent uh, local places to eat here. Oh, snooze, but that's breakfast only. Uh, I'm sometimes reminded folks will say, you know, hey, you know, Adam used to live here. And he did, that's true, Adam the Blue, he did used to live here. He used to do a lot of videos from the circle that we're coming up on now. A lot of places here are open for takeout. Uh, he's done a few videos here from the circle. I used to live here too. I used to live here about, oh, maybe eight years ago. Some folks, uh, have, you can't see it again, but the circle is quite active. Of people just sort of chilling. I'm gonna, okay, this guy right here, okay. I'm gonna go down uh, this street right here. This is where some of the good dining locations are. Can get ice cream. Who's open? Burger parlor is closed. Can I hope? 
No, that's probably too much to hope that Brucey is open. Nope, not only is it not open, but it's got that safety tape all around it. You can't even hang out at Brucey. There she is on the right. Oh, that's twice you've, I've come by here and not been able to eat. Or just hanging in there. Way to go, Old Town. Ooh, Zito. Zito's makes a fantastic tortellini. Yeah, I lived about, okay, take, the, take this to the right, take the circle to the right. I lived about three blocks down. I don't want Blaze Pizza. There's your circle right there. A lot of happy folks chilling on their blankets, having a good time, living their best life. I came back around because I wanted to do a drive-by of Watson's. Watson's is open, it looks like. The lights are on, the doors are open. I'm not going there today because that's not the kind of meal I'm looking at or looking for today. I've only been at Watson's once since they did the remodel. And it's nice, the remodel's nice, but it's not the same for me. I've been to Watson's when it was still, you know, a drugstore and you'd, you'd sit on the counter like an old soda, soda fountain or whatever they call those places. Um, not like I'm, you know, some kind of local or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's not the same to me anymore. So I think I'm going to take Tustin Road here back home. If I don't run into anything better than Derwiner Schnitzel, that's where we'll land, back in Tustin. And there is my order from Derwiner Schnitzel. A chili cheeseburger. I get the same thing every time. Chili cheeseburger. Chili cheese. Dog. Big old thing of fries. And a whole lot of Pepsi. I'm going to enjoy this, or not, I might regret this actually because we've been tapering off of fast food quite a bit lately, but I'm going to enjoy this tonight, hopefully, and watch a little bit of Star Wars. May the 4th is coming up. I think I'm going to do a little Force Awakens tonight. And thank you guys for spending this bachelor evening with me, this bachelor day. Uh, I had a lot of fun filming this with you guys today. It's kind of like a typical day for me, and then add in a, mix in a little bit of Sophia and Elizabeth, whom I miss quite a bit. Uh, so I hope I'll be seeing them tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be seeing you tomorrow with a little more video. I got, a, I got, I got a few more ideas for some videos that we're working on. So stay tuned here to the Royal Dorks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.